lesson is uh, the doozy here, you guys. So uh, this one and the next one. So I had to split it up into two of them, you guys. So so uh, what we're going to do is uh, uh, take all the things that we did with that uh, review uh, lesson, 9.1 to 9.5, of, of translating the conics around the origin, and we're going to move them uh, away from the origin here. So let's see. So uh, all these graphics, uh, circles, ellipses, parabolas, and hyperbolas can be formed. They're called conics, you guys, because they're, they're formed by uh, the intersection of a plane and a double napped cone. A double napped cone, you guys, I've never heard of that term until uh, this book. Uh, it's just two cones stacked on top of each other. Like, see, here's two cones. And see, here's a plane that's slicing the top cone. And can you see the circle right there? So there's a circle that's formed from this double napped cone. The only time you need a double napped cone is for the, uh, the hyperbola. I'll show you that in just a second. Okay, so the next one's an ellipse. So here's an ellipse when I do a a slanted um, uh, plane slicing it through and it makes that ellipse. Can you see it? Okay, and then the next one is going to be the parabola. So there's the parabola when you slice just one of the cones down at the bottom right there. And then the next one, when I slice both of them, it gives you the hyperbola right there, and a parabola and an upside down parabola right there. I have this uh, model in my class that I'll show my students. So. Um, but that's all that is right there. That's where it comes. That's why it's called conics, you guys. And that's the only reason is because of that. So here's um, uh, standard forms of equations of the translated conics. Okay, and all of these, they're all um, uh, dealing with uh, HK. And HK is either the vertex of the parabola uh, and or the center of the other conics right there. Okay, remember when you're writing... Uh, 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 ordered pairs, they're, they're in alphabetical order, X, Y. Well, so is H, K. H comes before K in the alphabet, so they're in alphabetical order also. And H always hangs out with X. X and Y are in alphabetical order, so are H and K. H always hangs out with X. Now, if you uh, were at my school, uh, our geometry book uh, covered this lesson last year. So this is just uh, uh, the equation of a circle uh, with the center. Remember, this is the center right here. It's the center HK, and the radius is R. This is really easy, you guys. So this one will zip right through that one. All the other ones take a little bit of a um, uh, little bit of thought here. So um, we have the horizontal ones and the vertical ones. So on parabolas, you guys, remember, remember uh, when you first graphed a parabola, y equals x squared. That gave you a parabola that went like this. This was y equals x squared. That was a vertical parabola when x was being squared. So if x is being squared, it's a vertical parabola. Notice h always hangs out with x and k always hangs out with y. See how h always hangs out with x, k always hangs out with y. If you put them in ordered pairs, they'd be in alphabetical order, x comma y. So it's h comma k. Okay, and when the y is being squared, then it's going to be a horizontal parabola. Okay, so it means it's going to open either this way if it's negative or this way if it's positive. Okay, if the x is being squared, then it's either going to open this way if it's positive and then this way if it's negative. This p is the, is the distance uh, from the center, hk, uh, to the focus point. Okay, pictures are going to help this a lot, you guys. Okay, ellipses. Remember x squared over y, uh, a squared plus uh, y squared over b squared equals 1, those guys? Okay, except um, uh, that was when it was centered around 0, 0. We're going to center these around hk. So notice h still hangs out with x, k still hangs out with y. Over here, h still hangs out with x, k still hangs out with y. Only thing that's changing is your a squared. Remember, a squared is the bigger number. So if a squared's underneath the x, then it's horizontal. If uh, a squared's underneath the y, then it's vertical. So you look for the bigger number on ellipses. Okay, and your center is at hk. Okay, my center is at hk. My vertex is at hk. Um, hk. Okay, hyperbola, same thing as ellipses except with the minus sign. And you're looking for which one comes first. Okay, I don't care about the bigger number. Whichever one comes first, uh, if x comes first, then it's horizontal. If y comes first, then it's vertical. Okay, and if both of them are being squared, x squared and the y squared, it's either going to be a hyperbola or an ellipse or a circle. When only one of them is being squared, it's a parabola. Okay, if there's minus signs, then it's going to be a hyperbola. 
Okay, if it's a plus sign, then you got to look. Are the same numbers in front? Then it's going to be a circle. If they're different numbers in front, then, then you got to make it equal to 1. All right. Uh, okay, I know that's confusing. This will unwind it, I promise you guys, as well. So, graph each uh, conic, identify the important characteristics. Okay, this guy is a circle, because that's a 1x squared and a 1y squared. The center is at 2, negative 3. You always take the opposites, you guys. This is like x minus a minus 2. I'm sorry, this is x minus 2, and this is uh, y minus a minus 3 is y plus 3. Remember, your equation of your circle is x minus h plus y minus k. So hk is your center. Okay, so over here, 2 comma negative 3 is my center. My radius is 3, the square root of 9. Okay, so there it is. So go over 2, negative 3. There's my center right there. And then I just went up 3, down 3, to the right 3, to the left 3, and then, then there you go. There's your circle right there. Boom! Okay, told you that one was easy right there. All right, say, so, okay, this one is a hyperbola. This is a vertical hyperbola because the y squared's coming first. The center is at hk. Remember, h always hangs out with x and k always hangs out with y. So it's at negative 1, 3. Okay, so let's go get a uh, picture started right here. So there it is, negative 1, 3. It's vertical. Okay, and then, uh, then we do... Uh, let's see the vertices you guys the vertices are up and down it doesn't have any left or uh, x vertices it only has y vertices because it's a hyperbola that's going like this it's going through those two green guys right there okay so if I square root that number that's how much it is up so I go up two and then down two so if this is at negative one three then this is going to be at negative one one and then go up two it's going to be negative one five Okay, now we do the box. The box is uh, square root underneath the x, which is 3. So I go to the left and right 3 from the center. So from here, I go to the left 3 to the right 3, and then go up and down 2. Okay, remember, up and down is y stuff. So square root underneath the y. That's how much you go up and down. Up 2, down 2. Okay, now I connect the diagonals for my asthmatotes. So there's my asthmatotes right there. And then now my hyperbola flares out at the asthmatotes right there. Okay, I'm forgetting one thing. I've got to get the focus point. Since uh, hyperbolas have minus signs, my c squared formula has a plus sign, you guys. So c squared equals a squared plus b squared. There's a squared and there's b squared right there. So uh, I know my focus points are going to be vertical because it's a vertical hyperbola. So my negative 1 stays the same, you guys. My y coordinate changes from my, from my center. So once I get uh, c, which is uh, plus or minus the square root of 13, then I go up the square root of 13 from the center and down the square root of 13 from the center. So only thing that's changing is the y coordinates because you're going up and down. Your x coordinates from your center stays the same. Okay, square root of 13 is about 3.6, so negative 1 plus or minus 3.6 gets me um, uh, negative 1 uh, comma 6.6, which is this guy up here, and then negative 1 comma negative uh, 0.6, which is that dude right there, okay? All right, so, uh, okay, now this guy, since only one of them is being squared, this is a parabola, and since the y is being squared, it's a horizontal parabola, and since that's negative, it's going to open to the left. My vertex is at hk, so negative 2, 3, okay? Always do the opposites right there, so negative 2, 3, okay? And then, uh, let's see, what else? Okay, so this is in the form of this right here, y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h squared, okay? Where the 4p is represented at negative 8, okay? So I find out that p equals negative 2, so there's p right there at negative 2. Okay, so uh, let's see. So uh, the vertex is always in the middle. There's the vertex. So the directrix is over here. So it's going to be this line right here. It's going to be a directrix at x equals 0. Remember, the, the parabola always surrounds the focus. It's the focus protector. So it's going like this. Okay, it's a focus protector. And there it is right there. Okay, uh, let's see. And uh, so this, this guy right here, you guys got that okay? So um, uh, there's P right there, negative 2. So I go to the left 2 and to the right 2. All right. And so the directrix is a, is a vertical line, which is X equals. Okay. This guy is an ellipse. Okay. I look for the bigger number. The bigger number is underneath the X. So this is a, a, a horizontal ellipse. Okay. And my center is at uh, HK. Remember, H always hangs out with X and K always hangs out with Y. So 4, 2. There's the center right there. Okay. And then, um, so, 
uh, since I'm graphing this, you guys, so I go uh, from this center, I go to the left and to the right, the square root of 13, the square root of this number. Okay, the square root of 13 is, uh, what, about 3.6, 3. Uh, 3. I suppose. So I go 3.6 that way, 3.6 that way right there. Okay. All right, and then uh, let's see. So uh, up and down, I go up and down, the square root that's underneath the y, which is 2. Okay, so go up 2, down 2, and then we can go ahead and connect them. So there's that, and I'm forgetting the focus, so let's get the focus. The focus are since ellipses have plus signs, c squared formulas has a minus sign, so there's a squared minus b squared is 9. So the square root, so a 9 is 3. And then, so that means I go to the left and right from the center. Since this is a horizontal, then the focus points are going to be horizontal. So go to the left, 3. So it's going to be at uh, 1, 2. So when I go left and right, it changes the x coordinate. And then go to the right, 3. So I add 3 to that 4, and it's at 7, 2. So there's my two focus points right there. My foci is plural. All right, write an equation of the conics. Okay, the parabola that has vertex 3, negative 1, and focus 3, 2. Okay, I tell my kids... I won't answer your question until you come up with a picture. So let's go ahead and graph uh, the focus and the, and, the, and the vertex. Okay, remember, the parabola always surrounds the focus. So I know it's going to be going like this. Okay, that gives me a huge advantage right there. I know that the x is being squared. Okay, and then this is p, the distance between the focus and the, and the vertex and the vertex. Yeah, so this is 3. Your directrix is down here, but this says write an equation. So I almost got it. I just got to plug in p equals 3 right there and plug in hk. This is hk, which is my vertex, hk. So 3 goes here, and then negative 1 goes here, which becomes a plus 1, and then 4 times 3 is 12. So there we go. Okay, there's our answer. Okay, an ellipse with uh, these foci and covertices. So let's get a graph, you guys. Okay, so here's the foci right here. They're vertical of each other. So that tells me this is a vertical ellipse. So that tells me the bigger number, which is a squared, goes underneath the y squared. Okay, so uh, the center is right in the middle of these two guys, or these two guys right here, the covertices. These are the covertices right here. Okay, so the center is right there in the middle at 3, 2. That's hk. There's hk. Okay, so x minus 3 plus, uh, over b squared, because I know a squared goes underneath the y squared, because a squared is the bigger number. y minus 2 over a squared equals 1. My sense uh, it's an ellipse with a plus sign. c squared formula has a minus sign, so it's a lot, huh? 9 uh, equals uh, a squared minus 4. You add 4, you get 13. So that's going to go right there. And then my b squared is going to go right there. And then wham, bing, bang, boom, there's your answer right there. That didn't come out very good. Okay. All right. So parabola with vertex 5, 3 and directrix uh, y equals 6. Okay. I need a picture right there. So that gives me a lot right there. So it's going down. Tells me that x is being squared. And it's a negative. So I'm going to put in negative 3 right there. So negative 12 goes right there. Here's hk, my vertex right here. So after you plug them all in, there you go. Okay. All right, so hyperbola. Okay, again, I need a picture with those vertices right there. So the vertices are, are the red guys, negative 7, 3. I did them by 2, so there's 2, 4, 6. There's negative 7, 2, 3 right there. And then there's negative 1, 3. And then uh, the foci are out here. Remember, the parabola and the hyperbola surround the focus. So it's going like this. So this tells me it's a horizontal one, which means x comes first. Okay, so there's HK. It's always right in the middle. So I just found the middle of these two points right here or the two blue guys right here. So I get it at negative 4, 3. There's HK. Okay, so this is going to be X plus 4. This is going to be Y minus 3. And then right here is A. And then right here is C. Okay, so there we're going to get those, and then we're going to plug them in. Since uh, hyperbolas have minus signs, C squared formulas have plus signs, and we get that. And there's our final answer, and there's your homework assignment if you're in my class.